expecting you to slide this unicorn. Just a tip! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Horizon 3 for probably the most anticipated car pack, I think, to date to drop here on Forza Horizon 3, and that is the Hoonigan car pack. As you can see right there, you got the Hoonicorn, the Escort, and a Nova just creeping right there. So we're figured for today, we're going to get into it, look at all the cars, take them all out for a spin, see how they drive stock, see what we can do, have a little fun with them, and then maybe on a later episode, get some tuning involved and see what we can do and how we can change these cars up. So let's first, let's take a look at what we got in this Hoonigan pack. We got the Twerk Stallion rx7 that beautiful car right there all the stickers across the window that's gonna be crazy in first person then of course we have the porsche 911 turbo nice wide body slammed i can see those red recaros just chilling and then of course we have a pretty awesome off-road truck just sitting there that blazer definitely gonna be having some fun with that as that light bar comes on on top that'd be even better and then of course we have the Ford Escort RS1800, rear-wheel drive, 333 horsepower. Definitely going to be getting some slides on in that thing. Then, of course, we have the Nova, which is, uh, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section, but I think this is the first Nova in a uh, Horizon series. Not 100% sure if I'm correct. If I'm wrong, please correct me down in the comments below. If not, just comment something else. And then, of course, we have the biggest car i think of this pack is the hoonicorn with those beautiful twin turbos sticking out the hood exhaust pipes this is going to be fun to rip around 1400 horsepower on this bad boy and then of course we have a chevy Bel Air that has some massive rake in the front of this car so that also could be fun to drive we got attack i see in the front windshield so we're gonna start well let's start with probably uh, we'll start we'll start here with the Bel Air probably go from least to favorite or from you know not drift cars to massive monsters now before we get ripping through here we're gonna have to put our wheel on of course we're running that 350 millimeter NRG innovations minty green and Nero chrome wheel on my Logitech G920 base full hydro handbrake Logitech shifter buttons removed and full inverted pedals down below sitting on my NRG Innovation seat. Now let's see what we can do. If we're gonna explode this up, take a look inside. And she's a little rusty. She's a little beat up, but you know, you know, it's it's an older Bel Air. Definitely uh oh yep, it's got a pretty uh pretty awesome interior. Let's go take oh yeah. She's looking a little rough. Big big tack up there. Looks like it's uh six thousand R red line or shift line. Ooh, trial five by fire. We got a four speed gearbox in there, it looks like. So we're gonna go back outside, take a look at the rest of this Bel Air here. We got a spare tire back there. Okay, a little spare tire slot, all right. A little uh, extra weight in the rear. All right, so let's rip this car first and then we'll get to another car here and see what we can do. We gotta make sure our wheel's connected though at first. Oh. We got a cutscene. Oh, I didn't know there was a cutscene. What? This is actually the first time booting up with the new expansion, so. I'm seeing this for the first time. What is that? Oh. Okay. I think this is, this is a Forza 7 trailer. A little uh, throw into the game here. I feel like that, that black outfit was a girl. This is this is a either Forza <laughs> this is a Forza 7 little trailer cut in. Oh, that GTR just got wrecked. The Zonda though. This looks. Why? Why is my phone talking? You're interrupting my video. 
Got some drag racing. All right, this is pretty cool. The wide body E36 and FD going ham sideways. Some Bach Monos. All right, so this was gonna be all about the Hoonigan pack, but I feel like they just threw this in. Because you could get the Hoonigan pack free if you pre-ordered the Forza 7. That is probably why they threw this in right there. Pre-ordering Forza 7 gets you seven Hoonigan cars free. But I feel like I already have it. I don't need that, man. All hey, right. Andrew, I've identified another potential recruit for your lineup. Hana, I don't care. So this Bel Air, though, she looks nice. All right, so we're gonna rip this thing here. Oh, <laughs> okay, it slides. All right, first car of the Hoonigan pack is this Bel Air. Understeering a little bit. Oops. Um, I can't remember if I am on sim. We got five gears though. How do we have five gears if it's only got four on the floor? Hmm. All right. Well, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna ignore that. Let's just rip this thing around. So we are gonna head up to the construction yard. So first impression is Bel Air. This thing is a boat, and that rake is just massive. So can it slide though? That that is the question. Rip that handbrake. Oh my god, she slides. Ooh, she slides a lot. This is not as big as that Mikali, but she's a big girl. Oh man. Excuse me, get up there. Thank you. Oh, oh there's another one. What's up? Bel Air fam. A clutch kick. Ooh. I feel like we're gonna switch this into first person, rip it here. See? As we rip into another Bel Air. Roundabout? I think we're gonna roundabout this Bel Air here. And we might switch cars. What's up? I got a little rare stats. I got Hydro's on right now. So this thing could probably use some work. Probably does not have an LSD in it. Ooh. But she's a big girl. She's probably gonna be good for drag racing. We definitely have to build a, probably a drag car on this thing. I don't know why I'm going all the way to the, you know, the construction yard because I'm going to have to change cars. So, Bel Air, first car, moving in pack. Pretty fun car. I feel like I'd have to do some modifying to it to get it to where it's even more fun to drive. Uh, I didn't want to rewind. There she is. She's a little beat up, but, you know, I feel like uh, this thing's going to have something nasty under the hood. So let's open that thing up. Yeah, there she is. I mean, it's got two different valve covers, though. That's pretty cool. Nice Willwood master cylinder. Some MSD ignition. They went all out in these engine bays. Red top battery. Let's take a look at the... Oh, is that all Dynomat? That is. It's all Dynomat in the inside. Uh, Can I open the trunk? Or does it take the trunk off? Oh, it's got a strap. That's pretty cool because there's absolutely no trunk. You got your fuel cell, fuel pump, exhaust, who to get on the frame rails. All right, that's dope. And you got all that that boom mat material on the inside. Take a look on the inside, see what she looks like. Ooh. Oh, oh, <laughs> are those vice grips? Those are vice grips. That's sick. All right. USB, some nice Sparco seats, which look like Takata harnesses, I believe. Yup, Takata harnesses. All right, time to rip this thing around. This thing looks sick. Oh, this thing's mean. Got some pretty short gear, though. This is definitely probably going to be the new... I don't think we have... Five gears, we do. I just misshifted. I think this is definitely gonna be the new drag car that everybody's taking to the, you know, the drag strip. Cause this thing is nice. 
Yeah, but of course, you know, we gotta go. Does she slide? Will you break? These cars are probably not meant to slide, but... Ooh. I feel like it has an open diff, though. Ooh. We just missed that car. We're good. Can we link it? Yeah, we got that. There's another Bel Air. Every driver car out here is in the Bel Airs. All right, there's no <laughs> slide. This thing is crazy. Ripping that handbrake. I really need to fix my shifter issues. Goals to try and get fixed soon. I like to kill all stickers because, yep, I feel like this thing is just roasting the tires. We're going to have to do it. We got to do it. Track stand. Yeah. Yeah. Just lighting up the rear tires. I like how I can seamlessly go from my controller to my wheel. And it doesn't have an issue. The Nova. 10 out of 10. Definitely going to make a sick build on this car. The interior of this thing looks nice. But you know what? What I don't get is Forza makes all these cars with all these stickers on the windows. Like that FC that we're going to get to. But we can't put stickers on windows. When we change the paint of this, all the stickers go bye bye. Forza, turn 10. Can we can we get some stickers for windows, please? You know, it'd be pretty cool. You know, for us to be able to put window stickers on or like front windshield banners. You know, it, we're not asking for much. Just the ability to put stickers on. That's it. Oh man, low key. I like all the uh, all, all the clips holding all this together. I see Sparkos in there. I think I see multiple Sparkos. Oh, uh, we can't open the hood? Yes, we can. Or does the hood come off completely? The hood comes off completely. Oh my gosh. Holy. They did incredible work on these engine bays. I mean, look at, you got the shock, you know, reservoirs. You got catch cans. There's this giant pipe. Look at the welds. Oh, this is, they've done. I wish I could drive it like that. But of course, unfortunately, they will not let us drive with that taken off, we got some air vents back there. Nice crossbar, some sparkos, radio. Okay, what do we got in the back? We got spare tire, fire extinguishers, hazard lights, it looks like. All right, let's take a look inside, see what we got. Looks like we got a cell phone holder. Ooh, like a straight box transmission. Screen, oh, this is a straight up like Dunes rally truck. All right, yeah, we're definitely gonna go rip. We're gonna go rip this. All right, next car on here is this massive blazer. All oh, and he already just wants to peel. New drift truck? I think so. All right, let's kick it. Ooh, let's do it. A glitch there, not too bad. Oh, oh tree give. Oh my god, this thing is crazy. The suspension travel is insane. A little bit of first person action though. Like the digital speedometer. That tree's not gonna give. Ah, we just wrecked our new truck. It's okay. We'll be alright. Alright, let's go back on third person. We're gonna rip this thing a little more. This thing is definitely gonna be a lot of fun in off road races. Oh yeah, she slides too. I have a feeling a new drift truck is coming out. I did have the drift Jeep that was out here that I built from a tune from one of my teammates. Ooh, a little dirt section. Got this. It handles really well. Your personal best on that speed trap. I feel like that wasn't a lot. Oh yeah, a little clutch kick. So far, I'm absolutely loving this Hoonigan pack. Everything I've tried so far, I am in love with. I know there's a lot of people online saying that, you know, they don't like it or all the cars are shit. But, you know, it's everybody's personal opinion. I actually like these cars. Oh, boy. Let's see what we can do on the pavement with this thing. Will you break rip? Oh, yeah. I think I think we throw an LSD in here. A little more power. We will have a new drift truck. Oh, yeah. Woo. 
Get in the slides. Jump over the track. Excuse me. You don't need your field. Thank you. Oh, that's a wall. That's going to hurt. No, oh, thank you. Other way. A little quick uh, e brake rip to go the other way. We're good. So, this blazer is going to be so much fun. Definitely going to want to get it online. Maybe in some king or some infected. <clears throat> so, I think it's time to switch cars. So that stance, though. Those rear tires are just tucked. There we go. We got nothing really up front, as it should be. Nice sway bar, though. I mean, the attention to detail that they have in these cars is incredible. And the interior of this thing looks so amazing. We're going to get in the other side. I got some Recaro sitting right there. And, of course, that beautiful motor, Hooning, is not a crime. It's not. Nothing against Hooning is not a crime. Unless you're doing it illegally, then it, it might be a crime. But take a look at the inside of this car real quick. Got that Momo wheel. Pretty basic interior, some nice race seats. Oh, oh, that turbo though. Oh yes. All right, we gotta rip this. All right, this Porsche. Oh, just like flexing right now. Oh boy. Oof. This thing sounds so nasty. Got a double clutch in the fourth for some reason. Giant Hoon again on the wing. Let's uh, get a little first person going. See, I wish we could have window banners. Excuse me. Oh, how did I make that? Wish we could have window banners like this. You know, Forza, Turn 10, Playground Games, where you at? Let us get window stickers, please. I hope. I hope that is in the. Uh, Forza 7. This Porsche sounds amazing. Oh, oh excuse me. I don't want to wreck any Porsche. That was so close. We're going to rip it sideways a little bit. Of course, we're going to rip it sideways. You know we are. Oh, whoa. As I get cut off. Thanks, buddy. This Porsche definitely going to want to do a full build on this car. This thing looks and sounds amazing. Oh, and the crackle. Just listen to that crackle. Oh, yes. I can appreciate the giant Hoonigan stickers. Definitely going to have to get one of those or make one of those off the storefront. Throw them on some cars. I feel like this car definitely could use some major tuning love to make this thing even more fun. Like I said, I just want to drive this car stock. That was not a good idea. Like I said, I just wanted to drive these cars stock, get a feel for them, you know, just a little bit, do a little uh, look at them, and then in the next episode, we're definitely going to get into tuning some more of these cars. Why is, why is that guy stopped? Oh, there's two cars in each other. There's cars everywhere where I want to go. I just want to kick it. I just want to kick it sideways. Just a little rip. There you go, just a little rip. Just a little tap. Definitely, of course, it's not made for drifting, but we are making a drift. So I think it's now time to hit up the cars that I've been waiting to hit up. That FC and the uh, Escort and, is, of course, the Hunicorn. There it is. Got that sticker on that headlight, too. Oof, turbos by Garrett. Hoonigan, GT radials, BC coilovers. Oh, yes. In Juku. Ooh, it's got a little flip-ups. Of course, you know, we got to pop that hood off. Take a look underneath, and there she is. That beautiful V8. Attention to detail is incredible. Look at the welds on the, you know, on the bars and everything. The red. Oh man, this is insane. All right, enough going at the engine. Everybody else, we got. Oh, yes, we got the huge hydraulic handbrake and a grip royale wheel in there. Hooning is not a crime. Fully stripped out back with some huge, uh, you know, huge tailpipes, which I feel like could cause an issue in tandems if you don't expect them. No, we're going to leave my evil rabbit plate. Stripped out door panels. All right, let's get inside. Some Sparco seats. All exposed wires. That Grip Royale wheel. Uh, man, 
you, you need you need one of these. You need uh you know NRG on there instead. You know, Grip Roy L. <laughs> they are beautiful wheels, but you know I'm a little uh, partial to NRG. Look at that shifter, that hydro handbrake, push button start. East looks like an ECM down there. The attention to detail is crazy. All those scratch marks in the bottom. Oh yeah, we're gonna have fun with this. No dash though. Wait a minute, there is absolutely no cluster. This is a straight up drift car. Yup, unless it's a little digital display. So let's rip this, cause this is a straight up drift car. I wanna see what the lock is. Oh my God, <laughs> that lock though. Yup, yup. All right, you know we're gonna rip this first person first. Oh my god. Thing just peels. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. This is gonna be fun. Oh, that's sick. You just see that V8. Now I wonder if you switch this to the rotary if it changes in the engine bay. Cause that would be kinda that would be kinda sad if it didn't. But that e-brake. Oh, wait, did his hand just go up to the e-brake? No way. It does. Get out of here. They've added the handbrake animation. That is sick. He actually reaches for that big handbrake. All right, let's rip it in the parking lot simulator, of course, because, you know, we bring drift cars here. Ooh. This car has insane lock. Look at that lock. That lock is real. It's like a Horizon Edition lock. Oh my god, this is insane. I would love to know if you, when you switch it to uh, a rotary, if it changes in the engine bay. It probably doesn't. Oh, I just T-Johned it. Oh, R.I.P. T-John. R.I.P. <laughs> you don't know who T-John is. He's a buddy of mine that drifts, that drifts with us a lot. He uh, treed hard in a tandem episode recently and so now it's uh known as t johnning it instead of you know hitting the tree mad respect to that guy though he can get he can get some serious doors always love drifting with that guy definitely gotta get used to this angle because this the steering is so quick on this car compared to all the other cars and the lock is just insane We're getting it though, this car though. I love all the stickers on the windows. I know people are probably like, oh, that, that shit's rice. I, I like it. I like all the stickers on the window. It's a drift car, you know? You know, that's what people do. You know, I don't know if I like the stickers on the front as much, but we're gonna go back into first person. It's just so cool to see him actually rip that e-brake and throw that grip royale wheel around. Like I said, I wish I could change it to an NRG Innovations wheel. Like I said, big shout out to Energy Innovations for sponsoring me in the channel. Hooking me up with this amazing bucket seat. Keeping me nice and stable on here when I'm, you know, ripping it sideways here in Forza. Oh, yeah. A little first person slide action here in the Twerk Slayer. Twerk Stallion. Oh, I can see so many awesome tandems with this car. Like I said, definitely going to be doing a build on this one. Changing the color up a little bit. Because I would like to know if it keeps all the gold interior. Because that would be sweet. I'm also going to find out if that motor changes. Which I don't think it does. So I think before we get too excited over this car. I think it's time to switch up. There we go. Those beautiful 1552s. Let's uh, take a look, see what we got. Oh, yes, that beautiful motor. Those headers, though, like the attention to detail that they did in this is bar none. Incredible. Look at that. Look at that huge hydraulic handbrake with the Hoonigan. Oh, man, the suspension in the rear window, those Recaro seats. 
fuel cells. Oh man, yeah, this thing is insane. Look at that. Carbon fiber doors. Display. Oh, that quick shifter. That Hoonigan fun handle. Yep. Time to rip it. We're going to send this. Of course, we're probably just going to send this in the parking lot as well. And then we will head to the construction yard with the beast itself, the Hoonicorn. Oh, does he grab the handbrake too? He does. Oh. Is that Hoonigan Industries on the cluster? He goes and grabs the handbrake. I can't believe they added the handbrake, you know, animations in on these cars. This car's quick. This car's actually really quick. I'm surprised we're only having 330 horsepower. With the brake. There we go. <laughs> Just missed him. Is this got locked too? Oh, this has locked too. Oh my gosh. These are straight up drift cars. Or Hoonigan, you know, Jim Connor cars. Oh yeah. I'm so excited. I've been excited for this car. I've been wanting to drive this car for since I saw this pack was coming out. Just roasting the tires. Definitely gonna want to do a build on this thing, like I said, as we glitched our tires. We need our tire sound back. Thank you. Oh, this car though. You have a bonus board on your map that you really? smashed yet. Would you like Anna, to set a route I'm drifting you? in the Hoonigan pack. I don't care about no bonus board. Let's see if we can do a little uh some kind of style right now. Yo, just a tap on that pole. Oh, I thought I was going to hit it. I got scared. So definitely, you probably need a little more practice with this to do like some serious Gymkhana, you know, stuff. So first impressions on this pack so far, all these cars are incredible. I wasn't sure if I was going to like all of them, but I have not found one car I have not liked yet. Definitely going to want to get some more people in on a lobby and get some tandems with those FCs. It's going to be crazy. And here she is, the Unicorn. We know we got to take this hood off. I wish we could leave it off, but we can't. There it is, the beautiful twin turbo Ford V8. Oh, boy. The attention to detail, as I've said in all the other cars, is incredible. Inside, we got very bare cage. That, you know, Hoonigan fun lever. So it tires. Can we take off the trunk? We can. Blow that trunk off. What do we got in there? Got a fuel cell with, ooh, cross suspension. I didn't, that's sick. Of course, we're going to hop inside, take a look inside. What do we got? That Hoonigan Momo wheel, shifter, Recaros, that's very uncomfortable for the passenger seat. Yup, it's time to rip it. It's time to get a little Gymkhana, so I will meet you guys at the construction yard. Alright, so we're here at the construction yard. This thing, oof, pop that thing in neutral. Oh, the flames out the top. Just look at this thing rock. All right. And of course, he grabs the fun lever. I don't think you can see the flames out the hood. In first person. No, I don't think you can. So, go in third person. All right, let's rip it. Ooh. Oh, there's a Miata. Where did you come from? Ooh. Gonna hit the pavement section. Ooh, just tap. Just tap. Ooh. 
can't go up. Break rip. Down shift. Throttle up. There we go. Jump drifts. Don't fall, don't fall. Ooh, my god, this thing is crazy. Just <laughs> lighting it up in second gear. Ooh, that was the wrong way. That would have been bad. Wreck our new unicorn. Oh my god, this thing just goes. Wrecking everything, don't fall off. This is insane. Oh my god, this thing is fast! Oh wow, alright. Take a little breather there for a second. Jump drift. Jim K style. This car is insane. Uh, there's gonna be so much fun having with this car. You have no idea. I mean, you probably do, because you probably already have this car yourself. But look at that. Look at this side. This thing just launches. Second like gear, lead brake. Make our own little Gymkhana video. That doesn't involve smashing into pallets and getting stuck by a pallet in a 1400 power power beast. This is so much fun on a wheel. Just tap. So, if you guys have the Hoonigan Pack and you're enjoying the Hoonigan Pack, let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know your favorite car, obviously. I think mine, other than this beast of a car, would probably be that RX-7, just because the lock is there. The lock is seriously crazy on that car. Let's see if we can't rip this section a little bit. So, I'm having, gonna have a lot more fun with these cars, gonna tune some up. You know we're gonna try to get that little uh, jump skip drift here in this unicorn. Oh, nope, failed. Yep, we wrecked our new unicorn. Can we get out though? Yup. So I think that's gonna do it here for this episode here on Forza Horizon 3 with the new Hoonigan car pack. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this car. Probably gonna make some Gymkhana videos with the team and some of my other friends. So if you guys want to see more of the Hoonigan car pack, maybe you want to see some builds on some cars. I just lost my spoiler. I'm sad. Comment it down below. Don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. So I think we're going to end it here. So until next time, guys, you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. And as always, until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm your rapid, and I'm just going to continue to slide this unicorn. Just a tap. Almost dropping the tire. Well, we did. We almost dropped the car. So I'm your rabbit. <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign and she boring Love the way you twerk